hi guys my name is Vetriva now I will share my another tutorial uh, okay now I will teach how to insert update delete using SQL server with uh, C sharp.net okay just I'm creating the database here go to view and server explore uh, server explore I already insert one uh, database here you want insert another database then just click add connect to database which platform you have you have to change SQL server or access or ODBC anything now I am using SQL server I already connected SQL server here uh, so this is my database namely Institute this is my database uh, my tables are many tables are as there okay uh, I will create your own table uh, like uh, just right click add new table inside a table I am writing ID ID I am mentioning int integer and name mention where character and date date that's date time okay I have a three fields called ID name date okay just I hit the save button control S yes. I have to say control S yes. in table name temp temporary table so I am mentioning temp table ok say my tables are created I have to see the tables here tables this is my table temporary table is that ok just I open the table show data click the show data inside your table I have to write ID equal to 1 and name equal to and date equal to in date field you have to mention perfect time and date ok I'm just I'm leaving after that I will teach you ok just I am mentioning date ID ID equal to one name equal to which way okay now I inserting the three fields I have so I have to insert three fields here like uh, text box one control C control V text box two and control we no no need the text boxes I insert a date time pickle where is where it is this is so I just inserting the date time figure here so I change the format just click the properties have to go to format select the custom format in my India uh, and custom format in India uh, every every people are like date after that month after that year only okay I'm mentioning date comma month comma year okay just I'm changing and I inserting a labels also three labels I inserting just properties ID properties name 
and then properties date okay three fields are there once I hit the button it will be save save okay just I click the button the data will be save okay meanwhile I am writing the query in SQL query just double click the button you have to import the SQL client first so just click using system dot data dot SQL client okay I importing the data SQL client after that I mentioning the function strings and uh, okay just I am using SQL connection SQL connection C O N equal to new connection C O L equal to new connection here I am writing the data source okay data source just you have to go here click the database and click the properties here you get the connection string here just double click control C and double quote inside a double quote you have to paste control V we get it data which will be see and assembly institute here before one quotation is must okay after that just C O N okay no need open button I'm using SQL data adapter using SQL data adapter you knew no need to write uh, connection dot open you using SQL uh, command you need to write open properties and close property in SQL connections okay now I am just inserting so I am using SQL command so I am writing cvn dot open first you open the database data source after the right SQL cvn command SQL command cmd mentioning any name here equal to new SQL command inside write the SQL query here okay SQL query many of the people are writing the SQL know the SQL but uh, writing sometimes uh, do the mistake after that is checking the very difficult for so I'm using the another easiest way to write the SQL query uh, using the SQL query builder you have to write the query in easiest way so just go to the temp just just go to the temp and click the SQL new query new query inside the new query you have to select the your database here temp is there just click it the database just click the database and and you have to mm, do like a uh, just right click change inside a change you have to inserting the values so you have to select uh, inside a change you have to inserting values so you have to select insert values insert values the insert into temp and uh, comma comma is there and quotation is there so you have to select the which fields are you have to insert so I am selecting ID name and dates okay the query already written here just you have to copy select all and copy okay once you copy just go to the form and here in inside the form you have to just click the control V button we get the queries here here just just arranging the lines once you you you, you have to worry about the li arranging lines just put the here at symbol you no need to arrange the lines you without a symbol you have to arrange the lines in single line then only it work okay you using that symbol you no need to worry about the lines it will be taking the all the lines uh, inside the uh, down lines also 
okay I'm just saying arranging the teaching purpose I am arranging the lines inside the inside the lines you have to write the uh, which field you have to assign the fields ID and name dates okay uh, just comma and double quote and plus just text box one dot text plus and okay and name plus text box two dot text and date time picker one dot value dot to string here mention which format date is you have to mention just in default it uh, database asking month and date and year written you already write the uh, write the query here you have to here also you have to mention the command connection just c o n connection so connection is property already is opened just you have to execute the query execute the query cmd dot execute non query sorry dot execute non query ex execute non query after that con dot close okay we write the syntax and queries so in such statement just click the play button so we get the form here just I'm writing the two name is John and date is 25 10 2012 just click the save button here so we save the data so if you want to check the database just go to the server explorer here and go to the temp button and click the temp button and click the show table data so we get the data here so insert is over now I will teach how to update the data here so here you, you want to update then you have to mention the any field is constant field then only you can update the data okay just I will copy the same things and just go to the designer and I will insert one button here just click this button is called update okay properties update okay just put the and double click the update button just I control V paste the here so here I am going to one more time in a uh, query window query window so I will teach one more time go to the table and click the new query window new query window I am selecting the temp table temp table add the table and close the table I want to update the data so I am selecting the update here I am selecting update here so once I select the update which field I want to update name and date uh, this is constant field ID so I select the ID here ID I tick the tick mark and filter I will just uh, small things equal to one just here write the code so just I copy the code here and go to the form and inside the form I am just uh, delete the all the data here ok once I deleted just control V I paste so you want to put the add button you no need to write the single uh, same line 
you, you write the multiple the queries queries any queries you have to write the multiple lines also is possible so i'm just inserting name field I assigning the name fields is text box two dot text and date field i am assigning date time picker dot value dot to string i am assigning month comma date comma year And here I plus one plus symbol this here. I mentioned ID equal to one. I'm just assigning plus text box one dot text. Just I'm mentioning here. Add symbol and name is text box two. Uh, everything is done. So just I click the control S save button and one more time I debugging start debugging and uh, run the button. So I want to uh, we have to see the first table here. So show data. Here date is nothing. So I put the null. So I want to update the date right now. So just I am. I have the form here so I just inserting table one one ID one name is retrieval okay and I am mentioning date equal to 22 okay just click the update button we got the update right now so just go to the database here go to show data we got the updated data here so we want you no know, need to update the this is id field is constant you want to change or update anything here name and dates is possible okay now i will teach delete how to delete the data how to delete the data okay just time go to the one more button is the called delete okay control control C control V okay I just send the name we call delete delete okay just double click the button and just I copying the same query here control C and control V so just I'm write the code delete right so I write the code delete <coughs> so I already where condition is that so delete from temp where ID equal to text box one okay control X just I run the button so we have the data called show data so I want to delete the this second row so uh, I, um, constant field is 2 ok so I just put the 2 here and click the delete so data will data is deleted so if you want to see just click show button here data deleted ok fine we will teach our next tutorial in next another topics okay fine i will leave now